Hello boys and girls, it's that time again, going to preview 1 to 11, but this one's for the North London Derby. Come and join me as I try and get into this one. So like I said, it's the North London Derby. I'm buzzing. It's a couple of days away. I can't wait. It's the one fixture in the calendar that I look forward to the most. I love nothing more than bragging rights and getting one over this lot. At the moment, yeah, they are the better side. Does it mean that they're the bigger club? Of course it doesn't. Bunch of shadow dwellers. Got no time for them whatsoever. I would love nothing more than to beat them on Sunday. They beat us. They officially finish above us for the first time in over 20 years. Well done. I'll give you a Blue Peter badge for that. Great achievement. Talking about power shift. When you finished above us for 20 years in a row, when you've won two league titles on our pitch, took our captain and won the league, I'll let you talk. Until then, you're nothing but an arsenal of 07, 08, 09. Great players, a lot of potential, but you've won nothing. So we can put a stop to that and make sure that carries on another year this Sunday. Beat them, they're definitely out of the title race. It's Chelsea's, it's finished. So what can we actually expect from Spurs this weekend? Well, it is going to be a tough game. Like I said, they're doing really well this season. They're currently second in the league. They're four points behind Chelsea. Um, we played them once already this season at the Emirates and we drew 1-1. Um, and yeah... Sad to admit, they're doing well. They're doing really well at the moment. They play a really, really high pressing game. Shut down the spaces. White Hart Lane is absolutely perfect for that. So we're going to have to be really on our game to put one over them. Um, we have to be first in the tackles. Um, can't bottle anything. And we really have to start passing, moving. And show the kind of form and determination that we've showed over the last couple of games. The way we beat Man City, the way we dug in there, the way we ground it out, we need that again on Sunday. People can sit there and talk about, um, you know, Tottenham are playing well, Arsenal still not great. But listen, North London derby, everything goes out of the window. Form the lot, doesn't matter. It's who turns up on the date. It really is that simple. Last season at White Hart Lane, if you remember, Tottenham were flying, we were below them. Everyone thought it was going to be a nice, comfortable win for Spurs. Um, we went 1-0 up. We then had Coquelin sent off. We go 2-1 down. Everyone thinks that's it. Next thing, Lexi Sanchez, 2-2. And we actually had the chances to win the game. So like I said, form goes out of the window. Doesn't matter that they're second. We're sick for wherever. It's who turns up on the day. So it better be fucking us that turns up on this one, Arsenal. Over the last few weeks, it looks like the abuse that some of you got against Crystal Palace... You've actually taken it on board. You've actually looked yourselves in the mirror and you said, you know what? We need to stand up and be counted. Arsenal has taken the blame for so much of your shit performances. And now you're not getting that. You ain't getting the protection of Arsene Wenger. The fans went for you against Crystal Palace. And like I said in one of my interviews on Arsenal Fan TV, I think that that could possibly be the making of some of you and actually be a good thing in the long run. We will find out on Sunday, though, whether you really understand what this North London derby means. Because believe me, to us, this is everything. We have to win this game. We have to stop them winning. We have to put an end to their little slim chances of winning the league title. Also, it's the added incentive. Last ever game at White Hart Lane before they demolish the shithole. Yes, the shithole. It's an absolute fucking dump. Even their new ground's going to be a dump because they've got 60,000 fucking idiots inside of it. Simple as that. I don't like Spurs. I don't like nothing about them. I hate the club. I hate their fans. So as far as I'm concerned, they can get fucked. I want nothing more than to get one over them this Sunday. And if you ask a Spurs fan exactly how they feel about us, they will tell you the exact same thing. The hatred is real. We don't like each other. We're big rivals. The simple fact is, is that they've never got over the fact that we moved into North London and took it over. Simple. Like I said, they're demolishing White Hart Lane. So I want to leave White Hart Lane with a nice memory. Although, I've actually got a nice memory already. 2004, I watched us win the title there. My dad was lucky enough to watch us win the title there in 71 and 2004. My dad has actually seen Arsenal win the league as many times as Spurs have in their history. 
So maybe the best thing for you to do was to demolish the shithole. Because it's not like you've been fucking successful there, is it? Dump. Anyway, let's get to the pressing matters of the team selection. I really don't know what Arsenal's going to go with. Um, he made quite a few changes against Leicester the other night with this game in mind, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to try and give a 1-11 to that I feel that Arsenal's going to go with this Sunday. In goal, Petacek. We've got no other goalkeeper. I don't think David Espina's back. Petacek goes in goal. Now, are we going to revert back to the old defensive formation or are we going to stay with three at the back? i got a feeling it's going to be three at the back. We've won three games in a row since we've done it. Why not keep it? In that defensive three, I think Arsene Wenger's going to bring Rob Holden back in there. Um, I don't know if he's injured. I haven't actually caught up with team news and whatever from Arsene. Um, I'm just presuming that he was rested against Leicester. I think that he will go back to that type. He will have Lauren Koscielny, Gabriel, Rob Holden. Now, Rob Holden and Gabriel were immense against Man City. We need that again. We need that fight. We need that passion. We need that hunger. So for me, the back three will be Gabriel, Rob Holden, Laura Koscielny. In the wing back roles, I think Nacho Monreal is going to revert back to the left wing back. Um, Kieran Gibbs went in there the other day while Nacho Monreal come into the defence. But I think, like I said, it's going to revert to type. Nacho Monreal, couple of goals in the last couple of games as well. Found our new striker, haven't we? On the right hand side, right wing back, we're going to go with Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Got a rest against Leicester. I um, think he deserves it. He was man of the match against Man City, man of the match against Middlesbrough before that. Um, I feel that he can cause Tottenham a lot of problems down that left-hand side. I don't know whether Danny Rose is back for Spurs, but even if he is, Oxley chamberlain has got the beating of him. He can potentially be a match winner. So for me, Oxley chamberlain is going to come back in there. In the central role, this is where I think things are in the balance. I've got this horrible feeling that Arsene Wenger is going to go with his love child, Aaron Ramsey. I wouldn't. I think that he was a liability against Man City. I'm looking at who else can play in that role um, instead of Aaron Ramsey. And you've got the likes of Coquelin or El Elneny. Um, Elneny's not played any football of note recently, so I can't see him being jumped straight in there. Which is why I think he's going to throw Francis Coquelin in there. He had a decent game against Leicester. Um, even started to pass the ball about a bit, but... You know, he needs to keep his head for this game. As I said already, he got sent off last year. None of that shit again, Francis, if you're in there. Keep your head. Alongside him, Granite Xhaka. Again, you've got to keep your head. You've done well very quietly over the last few weeks. Um, so, yeah, we need some more of that again from you. Um, we need your quick balls over the top. We've got to release it early. Um, and, yeah, we need your tough tackling. But, like Francis Coquelin, you've got to toe the line. We can't go down to 10 men. So for me, in that midfield area, we're going to go with Granite Xhaka, Francis Coquelin. In front of him, as you like, the 10 roll. I'm going to go with Meza Ozil. I think he looked knackered against Leicester the other day. Um, hopefully he's recharged his batteries. I think he's done a lot of work against Man City. Um, I think he got some unjustified criticism. Um, he worked really hard against Man City. I saw a lot of hard work from him. So I've got no problem with him. He could be that... Big player that unlocks the door when we need it on Sunday. So Meza Ozil goes in that number 10 role. Striking role. First of all, we're going to go with Alexi Sanchez. Pretty obvious. This guy loves the big games. Loves playing against Tottenham. Let's do it again. I know that they're scared of him. So, yeah. Alexi Sanchez, we're going to go straight in there. Um, also, I hope his lips better after that horrific, horrific assault the other day. Alongside him, I'm going to go with Danny Welbeck. Um, I just don't see Olivier Giroud doing anything right now. He came off the bench against Leicester, done nothing. Played a good 75 minutes against Man City, done nothing. Um, Danny Welbeck caused a lot of problems when he came off the bench against Man City. Um, and he can stretch teams. And I feel that would be crucial on Sunday. So for me, Danny Welbeck's going to go there alongside Alexi Sanchez. So there we have it, really strong 1-11. to I don't know what the Tottenham team is um, or what if they've got any injuries. Um, I'm hearing that Dembele is a uh, touch and go before the weekend. Um, that would be a big miss if he's out. So yeah, let's just pray that he isn't there. Like I said, last ever North London derby. Do the players need picking up for this? Do the players need any more motivation or know-how? Nah, it's all there. It's over to you boys. You've got to go and put the performance in. Um, so, yeah. 
We'll see what happens on Sunday. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm also looking forward to my walk down the Tottenham High Road. That's gonna be fun. Anyway, you know what to do if you have not already. Subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you lot Sunday. Match day vlog will be coming. Hopefully, please be a good one. And like I said, it's over to you now, Arsenal. Come on, do not fucking let me down on this one. Please, not this one. Come on. <laughs>